Charles Woods, the father of a Navy SEAL, Tyrone Woods. Tyrone is um, a guy who was over in Benghazi. He was not charged to protect the uh, ambassador. He was not charged to protect the CIA safe house. He was over there not doing any of that. He happened to be in the area, and he heard the cries for help. He didn't call a superior. He didn't call anybody. He got into his car, and he drove to the CIA safe house. He and one other guy, I think, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they both lost their lives. Mm -hmm. These guys did not chant. They were not. Nobody in the White House said, go get them. Go help them. They heard the call. They knew what the right thing to do was. They were hero Americans. These guys were just simply Americans. If an, another American is in trouble, we will go and help. And that's what they did. And that's exactly the opposite of what this White House did. Two guys holding off dozens and dozens of terrorists. Waiting for help. Seven Waiting hours. Waiting for help. Is anybody going to help? Seven hours worth. And there was a drone up above. And we did nothing. Okay. Now the White House is trying to spin this and the media is all in bed. And this is why this is a game changer, gang. This really is a game changer. When you hear this man's voice you know that he's a decent, honorable man. When you see the video that we put out yesterday, I mean, he was on the show. I talked to him yesterday afternoon. He was a last-minute ad to the show. Hmm. And um, uh, when you hear him, you know he's a decent, honorable man who is not involved in politics at all. I mean, he hadn't listened to me in two months. He's like, Glenn, I'm over in Hawaii, and I just, I just tuned it all out. His son dies, and he just tunes it all out. He said, I happen to tune you in, and you're talking about how my son died and he said and the information that the white house had and they had videotape where they could have done something and they chose not to i had to speak out now remember the story is that they said in the rose garden that it was a terrorist attack and everybody knew it was a terrorist attack oh that's all they were saying that's all they were saying now oh, is a terrorist yeah. attack and the video thing that's not that's not, there was confusing and we didn't. When they were talking to the families, here is what Hillary Clinton said to Charles Woods. Well, this is what Hillary did. She came over and, you know, she uh, did the same thing, you know, separately came over to then talk with me. I gave her a hug, shook her hand, and she was, did not appear to be one bit sincere at all. And, you know, she mentioned that thing about, we're going to have that person arrested and prosecuted that did the video. That was the first time I'd even heard about anything like that. And, you know, apparently even the State Department had live uh, stream and was aware of their calls for help. This was my son. He wasn't even there. He was, he was at a state house about a mile away. He got the distress call. So Hillary says to him, we're going to arrest and prosecute the person who did the video. Say, l let me ask you something. How? First of all, For she's what? saying that it is the video. She's not yes. saying that this was a terrorist attack. She knew. She knew. The, the State Department knew. She tells the family as they are standing there with the flag-draped coffin, we're going to go and get that guy who made the video. So she's lying to him. The next thing is, for what? What did that video guy do? What are you going to arrest him for? You're going to get him and prosecute him for what? And you know what's strange? They did. They did go and arrest him. Do you remember? Yeah, on a trumped-up charge of... They did go and arrest a him. A parole violation or something, I think it was. This is amazing. This is your October surprise, gang. But the media, if this were any other president... The media would take, are you kidding me? Oh. The the father of a slain soldier coming out and saying this about the president of the United States? This would be on the front page of every newspaper, and it would lead the news for a week. Well, look at mm. Cindy Sheehan. Yes. Look at that was uh, months yes. and months. Months and months, months, if not a year or right. more. Yeah, I mean, every weekend, they covered Cindy Sheehan's vigil outside the Crawford yes. Ranch every weekend. And this and that that had nothing to do with the president of the United States. That no. had he lied, he died about the weapons of mass destruction. Right. That's what that was about. This is verifiable.
This is verifiable. We have all the documents. We have everything. We know that they watched it. Mm -hmm. We know that we had assets that were ready to go. They chose not to deploy them. We know the cables so they knew exactly who was going on. We have 13 now, 13 different reports from different agencies on the president's desk within six hours saying this was a terrorist attack. We know that they that Benghazi was on high alert starting on September 9th. High alert. The mayor of Benghazi said lock it all down. We know that the 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 guys protecting the em- ambassador were Al Qaeda operatives. They were they're Islamists. We know all of it. We know what the president said. We know what the president said in the debate. We know what the president said at the UN, and they don't match. We know that Hillary Clinton, she came out. She sent a, 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 a um, our ambassador, a State Department official, our ambassador of the UN, to make the claim that it was the video. We know that they tried to arrest the guy who made the video. We know that the State Department has been doing the work of the Muslim Brotherhood on the project, on getting people trying to change the laws globally that you cannot insult the prophet uh, of Islam. We know it. It's been done. We have Hillary Clinton on tape talking about the OIC and how great this document is and how they're going to push it through to the U.N. The week of the U.N., that's exactly what the president is doing. That's exactly what Hillary Clinton is doing. And then we have them on tape saying, no, 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 we knew it was a terrorist attack the whole time. We knew. We said it in the Rose Garden. Well, now we have evidence that they looked a soldier in the eye when the body was on the tarmac and they looked his his father in the eye and said, we're going to get that guy who made that video. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's one one thing to lie to the American Mm -hmm. people during political season. It's another thing to lie to the, the grieving father of a fallen American hero in private. It's, when it's, you're at that point, you're covering your ass like that listen, over something like this. It's listen despicable. to this, Stu. The, listen to this. The reason why I said yesterday that the that it's we're into pathological, pathological lying. Do you remember what the story was the next day after the debate where the guy said about Libya and then they had that Candy Crowley thing? Mm-hmm. And remember, and and the president didn't really answer that question. And went up and got in the guy's face afterwards. Yeah, but in a nice way. Yeah. And looked yeah, yeah. at him, and, and the guy <clears throat> talked about it, and he said, the president looked me right in the eye and said, hey, man, we just didn't know. We really didn't know. We didn't have any idea what was really going on, and we wanted to wait. So he went and he sought him out. He went after the debate and sought the guy out and looked at him and said, hey, listen, you know what? They can say whatever they want, but here's the real deal. We had no idea. Are you kidding me? And then two days later, all these things come out. All the emails come out saying the timeline. The guy's pathological. Yeah. He can look you in the eye and say those things. Oh, my gosh. There's only two things that can happen now, I think, to save them. One, the media completely ignores this. And we're the only ones that talk about it. And they just let that slide. And nobody else picks it up. Or this administration will have to call a grieving father of a dead Navy SEAL a liar. That's what they'll have to do. They'll have to they'll have to look the people of the uh, the American people in the eye and say this man is lying. Okay, this story is available at theblaze dot com, and mm. it is only available at theblaze dot com. And um, we want you to take it and we want you to spread it to as many people as you possibly can. We want you to Facebook it. We want you to tweet it. We want you to mass email it. We want you to go through your Rolodex and just put everybody everybody and email this story especially if they live in ohio especially if they live in ohio or virginia this is a critical story and it will only get enough traction fast enough if you do it the media will not pay attention to this this story should be everywhere and you're going to have to do the news this is why i'm telling you if barack obama wins this is why they will control the internet i'm telling you they will control the internet because look at how they're controlling the news on this this thing is just barely bubbling up, and it's only bubbling up because of Fox and the Internet. That's it. That's it. If you can shut down Fox, you got it. If you can shut down the Internet, you absolutely win. I mean, look, gang, this one's up to you. You get this out, and you show who this father is and what he's saying. And you make sure you tell your friends exactly what this story means. Hillary Clinton 
is blaming it on the film. She knew. I'm going to have somebody write this, a couple of extra stories today for The Blaze to put this into perspective. Because right now you just have the raw story. But this story needs perspective. This, need, this needs to show you, A, there's one story on how has he treated all of the people, the Navy SEALs that die. He's an auto pen guy. So when you say, your friends say, well, he can't, you know, he didn't, well, you don't know if he looked him in the eye. He's an auto pen guy. How many Navy SEALs do we have? How many dead soldiers do we have that have spoken out and said, my gosh, I met the president and he was, he was a dead fish. He didn't care. How many Navy SEALs and parents have said, I got an auto response from him that my son was dead. Honor. There is such a thing as honor. Do we stand for honor or not? The answer is yes, we do. The second thing, Joe Biden, it might be funny the way he is out of control to some people, but good heavens, the vice president of the United States, you lose your right to be a buffoon. And the third and most important thing, Hillary Clinton lied. You have the president and the secretary of state dead to rights on this one. There needs to be a congressional investigation, and the only way that will happen, and I mean after the election, people need to be responsible and held responsible for this action. But the only way this is going to happen is if you get this story out. Don't let this seal die in vain. This, guy, this father said, my son died for a reason. Don't let him die in vain. Let him be the catalyst to bring honor back. Let him be the catalyst that brings people to their senses and says there's a real problem and we cannot be lied to anymore. This is not about politics. This is about honor and integrity and doing the right thing. My gosh, doing the right thing.